Governor Robert Bentley says the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation has approved three projects for our area to restore natural resources affected by the 2010 Deepwater Horizon explosion and oil spill. The money will be part of the millions of dollars Alabama is set to receive from BP and Transocean. Fox 10 News reporter Corey Pippen here to explain it all. Three years after the Deepwater Horizon oil spill and work is still being done to remedy what was affected. Now $12.6 million in grant money will go towards three projects to help the local ecosystem. We in the past have gotten small grants to do little projects one at a time, but this is allowing us to look at it more from a watershed approach, which allows us to do a more comprehensive, comprehensive restoration, which is wonderful because you can really make a difference when you can look at the big picture. The money coming from the Gulf Environmental Benefit Fund will be part of $356 million Alabama is set to receive over a five-year period. The project with the largest piece of the pie, Dolive Watershed Restoration, will get around $6.8 million and focus on reducing erosion and sediment problems. It will also look to improve water quality and habitat creation in Dolive and Mobile Bays. So we've gone from forested areas to residential subdivisions and commercial developments and that has put pressure on our streams and they're, they're de degraded, they're falling apart. What we're going to do with this money is be able to restore some of the critical areas and bring back the fish and wildlife habitat for those areas. $3.8 million is set to go to restoration and enhancement of oyster reefs on the coast as well as $2 million going into the restoration of the Fowl River watershed. Officials say these funds will also go towards a number of smaller projects here on the coast, some of which have been on the books for years. They say it's all a part of making sure that habitat stays protected for years to come. What we've found is that the tourism and the environment is key to our economy here. So we got to protect these areas and restore them. And if we don't, then we won't be attracting the people that we do currently. Reporting from Daphne, Corey Pippen, Fox 10 News. We've posted information on the upcoming projects on our website, Fox 10 TV.